the one you ain't used to I am the hip hop you bop to I am the beat that you rock to I am your cornrows, your bantu I am your history, your foundation I am a voice in this generation Who says shine your light in every nation Incredible black queen, intimidate You may think you, yeah, yeah You may think you, yeah, you may think checking on you um it was really 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 good to see you i miss you already <laughs> <laughs> oh you're so sweet well it was good to see you too <laughs> yeah um yeah we need to um we need to do that again yeah i agree we gotta do it again sometime yeah no nah, especially um that thing you did No, I'm serious. No, we we really, really need to do that again. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Everything that goes wrong in our marriage isn't always my fault. You got to take responsibility as well. So, I got to take responsibility for you, another bitch, in our home, in our bed? It's my fault? I said I was sorry. I thought we were moving past that. I thought so too. But when I think about all the stupid shit, it makes me wonder why I decided to stay with your dumb ass. <laughs> Better chill with all that. Name calling. You better watch your mouth and how you talking and cussing at me. You started with me! All right, all right, all right, all right. Everybody, let's just calm down and take a breath. All right. Now, Jane, you can't keep shifting blame to Stacy. You're going to have to be a man and take responsibility for your actions and realize what you did has put her in this state of mind. Now, she may have forgiven you, but she hasn't forgotten, obviously. So, just give her some time and be patient until she's ready, okay? I hear you, Doc. All right, now, Stacy, you agreed to stay in this marriage. And it's unfair for you to keep throwing this infidelity up in Jane's face just because you want to hit a low blow. Now, I understand that you're trying to get over a broken heart. And by all means, I understand that takes time. But for this marriage to work, you're going to have to stop picking at that scab and let it heal. Make sense? Yes, Dr. Prescott. All right. Oh, seems like that's all our time. Same time next week. All right, guys, I'll see you next week. Thank you, thank you. You good? No fussing. <laughs> Dr. Prescott, your 11 o'clock is here. All right, well, I'll be in my office waiting. Okay, well, I guess I will take my lunch break. I will see you when you return. Dr. Prescott, we'll see you now. So, 
what brings you here today, Mr. Harris? I seem to be experiencing some withdrawal since our last session, Dr. Prescott. Hmm. What type of withdrawal? I'm not sure. I was hoping you can help me figure that out. Hmm. Well, I think I can do that. You do the math, but Come let on. me slow it down. I'm Hello, can I help? Is my Dr. Prescott available? Actually, she. Um, same time tomorrow, Mr. Harris. Absolutely. Thank you, Dr. Prescott. Mm -hmm. Ladies. <laughs> and stop being nosy. You know me and things never change. I just told you. Girl, I'm, I'm just so glad to see you. I'm glad to see you too. <laughs> Girl. Oh, Aaliyah, this is my good friend, Jordan Dixon. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, do we have enough time so we can play a little catch up? Um, yes, ma'am. Actually, uh, your next appointment isn't until one o'clock. Perfect. Come on. Who is that? Who is that? Girl, I am so glad that you are in town. You know, everybody is going to be excited that you're here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's fast forward through all the pleasantries, beating around the bush. Who was that man that left your office? And I need to know the real, and I need to know it now. Uh, well, um, he. I, uh, Oh, wow. Maya. Girl. Patient Jordan. Girl, doesn't that violate some type of hate law? I mean, but Keith, you know, is... <coughs> Keith? Oh, he has a name. Well. Okay. I mean, okay. So Keith, he started off as a patient. Mm -hmm. You know, and then one thing led to another. And, and then... you saw how fine that man was, and you got all high in the panties, uh -huh. and bow. When we, Ooh. oh, girl. Oh, my gosh. When we, oh, uh, you know what? Uh. You know what? You are a mess. <laughs> and besides, you know, it's different with Keith. You know, mm -hmm. we have something special. It's sweet. It's illegal. Whatever. Look, girl, I ain't mad at you, but shit. If that was me and that fine man wanting to break me off something, I'd give in too. Mm -hmm. But you know, I ain't you. You actually have something to lose. <laughs> Hello? Priscilla, hey, where are you? You're supposed to be here 30 minutes ago. Come on now, girl, you can't do this to me today. Mm. Fine, fine. I'll just see you when you get back. Yeah. Not a good start to your morning? That is an understatement. Uh, this morning, the shipping company mixed up my order with another coffee shop, and Priscilla is gonna be out of town for the week. Some baby daddy drama? Anyways, that leaves me short-staffed for the week because my other barista is out sick. I am sorry about all of that. Thanks. That means a lot coming from my favorite customer. <laughs> well, let me see. Today, mm -hmm. I think I want to have... A triple chocolate chip mocha latte, just the way you like. Thank you. Um, but how did you know I was going to order this today? Well, it's important for a man like me to pay attention to everything a woman like you does. Thanks, Jake. Get you some money. Now you already know your money is no good here. Jake. You're you welcome. <laughs> Hey, 
Hey, girl. Hey. What in the world is going on with you? Well, let's see. Frank was supposed to come and pick Taylor up and take him to school this morning just to make up for not picking him up from school yesterday. That sorry, no good son of a bitch. Penn had the nerve to have my baby sitting there waiting 30 minutes before he decided to call and give some lame excuse about how he was with his other kids. I had to rush to get Taylor to school before he missed first period altogether. Teresa, I am so sorry. I'm trying to figure out how the bastard that I married and your husband came from the same womb. You are so lucky, Amelia. Trust me, it ain't all peaches and cream over here. Well, it ain't government cheese and spam like my marriage. <laughs> Teresa, everything is going to be all right. Everything will be all right when I get a knife and... Mm -mm. No, stab him in the chest. No, ma'am. Girl, bye. That man is not worth you going to prison and becoming some woman's girlfriend. Taylor just wants to be treated like his father's other kids. Sometimes, sometimes I regret ever even marrying that man. And then I think about how even in my darkest hour, God blessed me with an angel. And I wouldn't trade all of that pain if that meant not having Taylor in my life. That's right. And if you never married Frank, you and I would have never met and become sisters for life. Girl, you always find a way to make everything about you. I mean, but you love me. Whatever. Where is my coffee? Oh. I mean, and I need two shots of tequila in it too. Did you order one? Hey Jazz, we got a good tape. You can come on out. Yeah. Yeah. Hey girl. Sounding good, girl. Thank you. You know, I came in to record a whole different song last night and got inspired and wrote this one overnight. Mm. <laughs> Let me tell you, I have never met anyone as dedicated as she is. She is absolutely amazing. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. That's my girl. Oh, while you're in the booth, I got a text from a very high-profile producer. He heard some of your stuff, and he's extremely interested in working with you. Definitely a major player in the game. That's what's <laughs> up. Set it up. Cool. Well, I'm going to get some coffee, let you catch up with your girl. You need anything? No, I'm good. Thanks. Um, looks uh -oh. like someone has a crush. <laughs> no. <laughs> Chris and I are just friends and business partners. Well, you know what they say. Sometimes friends make the best lovers. <laughs> okay, and those same people also say, never <laughs> where you eat. This is work, and that's all it will ever be. Fine, suit yourself. I will. <laughs> you did sound good in there, though. 
Thank you. I've been working really hard. I can tell. Well, I'm sure my sister will disagree with that, though. Has she made it back in town yet? Yeah, she made it back. Text me and said she made it, and we're having a get-together to celebrate her return. Mm, something tells me you're not happy about that. I love my sister. Okay, but let's just say our relationship works best when we're miles apart. Okay, just, but hey, you should come tonight. I can definitely use a buffer. Mm, maybe. That is, if my man doesn't already have plans for us tonight. <laughs> Your man, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, how's that going? It's going good. Girl, he's smart, he's kind, he's sweet, he's loving, so ambitious. Mm. Girl, I love him so much. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what's up. Yeah. I'm, I'm happy for you. Thanks, girl. I think he might propose soon. Okay, well, <laughs> let's just hope that soon is after I lose about 10 more pounds because I need to be looking good walking down the aisle as a bridesmaid. <laughs> He's so crazy. Oh, yes. <laughs> I miss you. You just saw me like over an hour ago. I know, but I was just too long for me not to be able to be with you. To touch you, to hold you, to kiss you, to make love to you. Keith, I um... Dr. Prescott, your one o'clock is here. Okay, thank you, Leela. Keith, I gotta go. Now, Doc, you know I'm not gonna get off this phone until you say it back, right? I miss you too, Keith. Mmm, that's what I'm talking about. I just love it when you say my name. Goodbye, Keith. Hey, hubby. Where are you? Hey, babe. I'm uh, actually still at the church. Pastor called an emergency board meeting. Okay, so what about lunch? I'm going to have to make a rain check on that, babe. I'm still at the church. I'm not going to get out here in time. Okay, so I guess I'll see you tonight for dinner, right? What time should I be ready? Uh, Actually... I'm gonna have to make a rain check on that too, babe. Cedric. I know, I know, I know. Look, Pastor's going to Houston. He asked me to cover for him at a revival this evening in Macon, babe. I'm so sorry. <sighs> Look, I promise you I'm gonna make it up to you, okay? Yeah, I know. You said that last time, and I'm still waiting for you to make good on that. I, I will, I promise. All right, let me get back into this meeting. I love you. I love you too. Everything all right? Cedric is ditching me for lunch. Again. Mm. And he's not gonna make dinner either. Church stuff. I'm sorry. I mean, I knew what I was getting into when he told me that he was called to the ministry. And I knew that there would be sacrifices here and there. But, you know what? I'm not going to complain. This is what I signed up for, right? No. I mean, I understand the church stuff is important. But he's a husband first before he's a preacher. What about your needs? Who's taking care of those? His responsibility is to the church. 
but his primary ministry is his home, and that's you. I know, but... No buts. Listen, Amelia. If you were my wife, I would spend every second of every minute of every hour of every day doing whatever it took to make sure that pretty smile appeared on that beautiful face. That's sweet. That's truth. Thanks. Well, I'm gonna go. And I'll I'll see you next time. Looking forward to it. Yes. I just got back in town. Um I got something going on a little later, but maybe we can meet up afterwards. Okay, great. Sounds like a plan. All right, bring your appetite. All right, bye. Jordan? Maurice. Hey. What are you doing here? I just got back in town. Oh, okay. So you just visiting? No, I'm here to stay. Interesting. So what brings you back home? You know, I just miss my family, my friends. Just missed everybody. So am I included in everybody? I'm not sure. So you're just gonna come back in town and not even tell me? I don't know. I mean... <laughs> really? <laughs> the way we left things, it was so weird. I just... I haven't let you know. I mean... We still had a mile to go, slacker. <laughs> so I see why you stopped. Hello. Hi. Um... Jordan, this is my girlfriend, Layla Michelle. Hi, Layla. It's Layla Michelle. One word. Excuse me. And uh, how do you two know each other again? Well, Jordan is... Someone who would like to remain in the past. It was nice seeing you, Maurice. Nice to meet you, Layla. It's Layla Michelle. One name. Take a picture. It'll last longer. Grinding out against the play. They say it ain't the easy way. But we gon' do it anyway. They don't want the road we pay. And I don't hear what they say. Cause we too busy getting paid. And numbers don't, numbers don't lie. And numbers don't, numbers don't lie. Yeah, numbers don't lie. And circle full of winners gon' ride. Girl, why did you get my wine? None for me. She done became a Miss Preacher's wife. She done became a little saved and sanctified. <laughs> I've always been saved and sanctified. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You tell this all the men used to back it up on. Oh, girl. Okay, okay, no, no. My past does not dictate or determine oh, who I am today. Yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Listen, y'all leave yeah. my girl alone. Yeah. Thank you. Even though she did used to be a hoe back in Ooh, the day. Stop. <laughs> not I'll funny. drink to that. Not funny. Mm. You just need to relax a little bit. We just messing with you. Yeah. Just relax. Seriously, ease up on my girl. Y'all know she's still upset because her husband kicked her to the curb right, right. to go preach the gospel. Right, right. right, that's what y'all think? No, he is fulfilling God's work in the community, and I am happy for him. But your vagina isn't. <laughs> it's like the whole Sahara down there. Wait, ooh, Sahara. Oh, wait a minute. Girl, your husband cracking your back. Okay, no, I'm not having this discussion with you ladies. That's not what we're gonna do. No. Okay, well, excuse us. Uh, uh, but when did you become such a prude? Okay, you know what? If all you ladies are gonna do tonight is make me the jab of your jokes, give me my no. phone. No. Come on, no. 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 no, no, I'm you not going no. nowhere. No. We just playing. It's not just funny, playing. girl. We just need to loosen up a little bit. Just a little bit. And speak 
Speaking of loose, that's about the 10th time your phone has gone off tonight. Ooh. Who's going up your line now? Paul. Paul. Okay. <laughs> so the last guy's name was Matthew. Mm -hmm. And then the guy before that was Mark. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, I mean, do you have a thing for these Jesus disciples named guys? <laughs> oh, that one. Okay. Cute. But don't be hating because I have options, baby. Oh, boo, I am not hating because I'm very satisfied where I am. Well, I guess I would be very satisfied if I were you as well, if I had all my options at my disposal, Dr. Prescott. Oh, oh bitch, don't you dare. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> okay, let's cut the preliminaries. All right. Let's raise our glasses, sisters. And our water bottle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's okay. This is the year of the Alpha Woman. Yes. Okay. Here, here. We are here to take back what belongs to us, including everything that's in the bedroom. Yes. 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 Well, just be sure while you're testing those waters that you're getting tested, okay? Girl, I do. Commas are a must when it comes to sleeping with me, okay? Mm -hmm. Don't nobody have no time for diseases and running oh. all up and through them, baby. That is not cute. Oh, no, not cute. No. Okay. Uh, all right. Anyway, where is Dawn? Because she said she was coming. I don't know. She better be here. Let me text her to see yes. where she's at. Dang, Jordan. I'm on the way, girl. And what the f do you think you're going? I told you, my girl Jordan was back in town, and I'm going to have dinner with her and the girls. Oh, you told me? No, you didn't tell me. Now look, bitch, you need to ask me. <laughs> oh, you got a problem? No. May I go have dinner with my girl Jordan? Hell no. Nah. Especially not wearing this. Looking like a f that's getting ready to go sell a on the side of the street. You need to watch how you're talking to me, Rico. No, you need to remember who the f I'm talking to. Now take your ass to the goddamn room and change your clothes. And hurry up. I just got off work. I'm hungry. Well, all right. Just let me know when he gets there. Okay. Love you too. Bye, Taylor. Everything all right? Girl. Yeah. Frank was supposed to come get Taylor so he can spend some time with him. He's still at home waiting. Hey, there's my baby sister. Where you been? Just taking care of some business in my room. Okay. Well, Jasmine, um, we want to thank you so much for letting us use your home for mm -hmm. a get together. Yeah, no problem. I was not had a choice about it. So, um, we haven't had time to spend together since I came back. What's up? Well, I've been busy recording, working on music. <laughs> oh, <laughs> bad. Oh, what? What? I just didn't think you were still doing that. Yeah, I'm still doing what I love. Music is what I was born to do. <sighs> look, look, I'm not doing this with you. What? What I say? That's the problem. You're always saying something. We don't know. Chloe, this is my sister Jordan and her friends Amelia, Teresa, and Maya. Guys, this is my best friend, Chloe Ellidge, soon to be Chloe. Uh, what is your last name? He can okay. take himself, girl. He's outside parking the car. I want you to meet my fiance. Now, it's a damn shame that I had to wait for y'all to get engaged to meet the man you've been with for all these months. 
Babe, you left your phone in the... Keys? My... Uh, how do you two know each other? I asked a question. How do you two know each other? Yeah, that's what I'd like to know. We, um, they know each other because Maya's Keith's therapist. Jordan. Patient, doctor, confidentiality. You're not saying anything, I am. And besides, in this case, I think we're okay. All right, how do you know this, Jordan? Because when I got back in town, I went by Maya's office, and as I was entering, he was leaving. Baby, why are you seeing a therapist? Is everything okay? Are you unsure about us? No, 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 of course not. I just, I just have a lot of pressure built up on the inside of me that needed to be released and I thought a therapist would be the best thing for me. Hmm. Well, now that that's cleared up, girl, let me see this right again. <laughs> <laughs> it's gorgeous. Maya, you said the word, I'll expose his ass right now. No, no, I'll handle this on my own time. Maya! No, I don't need you fighting my battles anymore. But I got you. Come on, Chloe. What do you say I get you up out of here, huh? I want to spend some alone time with my fiance. Okay, baby. I'll talk to you later, girl. Call me! It was nice meeting y'all. Bye. Bye. <laughs> dinner. No, nah, this ain't no dinner. The f you think this is? I didn't have a lot of time to prepare. That's all I could whip up. If you don't like it, I'm sorry. Yeah, damn right you are. Look at this. Look at the plate. Look like something you'll feed a dog. I don't see nothing wrong with it. You don't see nothing wrong with it? No. Really? Get down on your knees. What? Now you want to make food for a dog, you're going to eat it because you're my bitch. Now get down on your knees and eat it. Whatever. Uh. <laughs> eat, bitch. Eat the food. <laughs> eat that shit on that food. Eat, doggy. Eat. Uh. Yeah, eat that shit. you? Now I'm gonna go get some real food. When I get back, all that shit will be gone. To you too, Mom. I didn't mean it like that. You were just supposed to spend the night with your father. He never came. I kept calling him, but he never answered. Taylor, I am so sorry. It's cool. I'm used to Pops not wanting to spend time with me. Good night, Mom.
about you sending me straight to voicemail. You gonna listen to what the f I gotta say. Swear to God, I can't stand your ass. And the next time I see you, ooh, I'm gonna cut your balls off and I'm gonna feed them to the dog. Get on my f nerves, Frank. F you. Traffic on the way to make it was crazy. I was almost late. Then when I got there, babe, can you believe they took three offerings? Three. Three. Then the choir director wanted to catch the Holy Ghost and sing two more songs. It's all before I even started preaching. Mm. It's crazy. <laughs> you know what? It sounds to me like Pastor put you in the bag of tricks by asking you to take his place tonight. <laughs> You're right about that. <laughs> uh, but all in all, it was cool, babe. You know, I just really hope the overall message was gotten tonight. You know, I think that, I think that what God gave me was really going to help somebody. I'm sure they did. <sighs> Cedric, we need to talk. I think... Babe, 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 babe. <sighs> Could we hold until tomorrow morning, please? I am exhausted. That ride wore me out. I just want to go take a shower and put on some clean clothes. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> You're so amazing. Mm. Thank you, baby. Whew. sleep by now, babe. Well, I figured it wouldn't do me any good to go to sleep right now because we all know you're going to come out the shower, make all this noise, <laughs> and I'm not going to be able to go to sleep. So uh, why don't you just hurry up? My bad. My bad. <laughs> no, seriously, I need you to hurry up. I have to be at the station in a couple hours and I can't be on TV with bags under my eyes, Maurice. Okay, I got you, babe. I'll make sure you be sleep at a good time, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, the woman we saw earlier in the park, who is she? Who? Joy? Oh, don't act. You know you're not good at it. Who is she? Just a friend. That's all. Maurice, I want the truth. Who is she? I thought she was going to sleep. Answer me, Maurice. Oh, man. She's an ex-girlfriend, okay? Look, we dated from time to time. That's it. Oh, I see. Jordan. Jordan is my past. You, Lady Michelle, you are my present and my future. Trust me, you don't got nothing <laughs> to worry about. Hell, I know I don't. I'm Layla Michelle Johnson. The heifer ain't not even one-tenth of a woman that I am. No, she ain't. Mm -mm. No. And besides, I got the man. Yes, you do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Hold up. You said you was going to sleep tonight. Well, I'm up now. <laughs> well, hey, I am too. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I can feel it. <laughs> Lady, you are beautiful. No matter what they do to you, you should just keep cruising.
Oh yeah, yeah, just uh, that's all. Mm. Mm. Wow, you really are tense, babe. <laughs> you sure everything's okay? Yeah, just um, I'm even better now that you agreed to be this big man's future wife. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got something for you. I'll be right back. Okay. Look, I have fun, but next time, if you can give me a little... Uh, uh, I have fun, too. Good night, Paul. Uh, hi. <laughs> Good night, babe. Hello, Jasmine. Hey, girl. <laughs> the next time you have company over, you need to finish whatever it is that you do at a decent hour. You can hear us? I'm pretty sure the old couple in the next subdivision could hear you. <sighs> Don't over exaggerate, Jess. I'm not. Look, this is the time of night where I write and I work on my music. And I don't need your moaning and groaning disrupting my creative flow. Okay, well I'll be sure to keep it down so you can work on your little body, little sister. <laughs> First of all, don't start that little sister b right? I'm a grown ass woman and you will treat me as one. You know what, if you want to be treated like a grown ass woman, then act like it. Get a job. I have something better than that, okay? I have a career. I have passion and I have something that doesn't require me to f every man I meet, like you. Don't go there, Jasmine. I'm already here. And if you want to continue to stay in my house, then you will respect me. Respect my space and respect my art. And if you can't handle that, then you can get the hell out. Fine. I'll go. So much for loyalty, little sister. No, we're not going to wait till morning. We're going to talk about this now. Cedric. Cedric, wake what, up. What's, what's going on? What happened? We need to talk, Cedric. <sighs> Baby, I thought we agreed we was going to wait till the morning to talk. No, we didn't agree on anything. You made a decision for the both of us, and I compromised and gave in to your demands like I always do. But not tonight. I have some things on my mind, Cedric, and you need to hear okay, what I have okay, to say. Okay, okay, okay. You want to talk, baby? Talk. Let's talk. Okay. <laughs> Cedric, I am tired of being taken for granted. I'm tired of you neglecting me. Where is this coming from? It's coming from you, Cedric. All of the missed plans, all of the empty promises, all of this frustration is because of you. So let, let me let me get this straight. You're upset right now because I canceled a dinner? Baby, I told you that I was going to make that up to you. I know. But when, Cedric? Huh? You can't. And you know why? Because you're always down at the church. Because I'm a minister at the church, baby. I'm an elder. I have to be there. I have responsibilities. You knew that when we signed up for this calling. And what about your responsibility as a husband? They need me at the church, baby. I'm your wife. I need you at home. Look, baby. Pastor's about to retire, all right? I'm next in line. Right, look, he's testing me right now. I just got to do what I got to do to get what I deserve. So, all of this ministry stuff 
is about you, huh? It's not even about the people. This is so you can be elevated. Who cares about the people around you who care about you most, huh? Like me, your wife. Amelia, you're being selfish. Mm -hmm. And you're being a jackass, Cedric. You know what? I'm gonna go sleep on the couch. Yeah, you do that. <sighs> You just so determined to look like a I'm just trying to get ready for the Eureka. Nah, it look like you're getting ready to go stand on the street corner. Whatever. What? Nothing. Get off of me. Come on, girl, you know you want this. Hey, get off of me! Man, what the f your problem is? My problem is, if you want to have sex with me, the least you can do is go and wash your ass before you come in here smelling like stank coochie. <laughs> you jealous. Come on, girl, that's what's up. No, I'm not jealous. I'm tired. And I'm done. I can't do this no more. Man, bitch, you're gonna do whatever the f tell you to do. Now, if I wanna f we gonna f I'm not about to have sex with you when you just had sex with another bitch. Man, shut the f up. Now, as long as I'm bringing it home to you, it shouldn't matter who the f I Now, get your f ass on that f bed. Bye. Thank you so much for letting me stay with you. Oh my gosh. Jazz, I'm just sitting over there pitching a bitch fit about that music, and I'm so tired of arguing with her about her life and what she don't want me to say and what I say too much and what Maya what's wrong my heart so bad oh I know it's okay <laughs> On self individual, finding yourself in the spiritual, dodging all distractions. Made yourself the main attraction, so they think you've got an attitude. Cause you're not in the mood like you used to, but you ain't gotta please nobody. Nobody, nobody, nobody. And you ain't worried about no parties. Nobody, nobody, nobody. And you ain't trying to go no. Understand you, baby. They don't understand you. That you trying to be somebody, somebody, somebody. Trying to be somebody. And you gotta be somebody, somebody, somebody. Cause you gotta be somebody. Won't settle just to say you got somebody, somebody. Don't settle for anyone. Hey, girl, you better. Yeah, that's somebody. But you ain't more than just your body. You are somebody, somebody, somebody. You are somebody. And you yeah. gotta be somebody, somebody, somebody. Won't settle just to say you got somebody, somebody Won't settle just to say And girl, you bad, yeah, that's somebody you But bad. you ain't more than just your body, yeah Handling business on every day No fooling around, ain't no time to play Go to school, go to work, hit the gym, put in work So they think you got an attitude Cause of that bag and that body on you And you ain't tryna hurt no But you the baddest when you walk in when you walk parties When you walk up in the And they feel that ain't fair. ain't fair They don't understand, don't understand, don't understand you That you tryna be somebody, somebody, somebody That you gon' be somebody And you gotta be somebody, somebody, somebody Tryna do something for you. Won't settle just to say you got somebody, somebody Won't settle for nobody And girl, you bad Somebody, you but you ain't more than just show body. You are somebody, somebody, somebody. I ain't trying to do something with your And you gotta be somebody, somebody, somebody. Try to be somebody. Won't settle just to say you got somebody, somebody. Won't settle just for
If you're looking for employment here in the CSRA, well, listen up. MUY Technologies is holding their annual job fair between 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. They are looking to fill 65 positions at the plant. Employers are asking that you bring a resume and some sort of ID. Well, that's it for me this morning. Our evening news is coming up at 4 p.m. with Steve Chatham and Beverly Miller. I'm Layla Michelle, and I see you bright and early in the morning with Channel 13 News. Have a good day. Oh, so I assume we don't like her. She's not even a factor, so there's no need to decide if we do or not. Gotcha. How you feeling? Let's see. I feel sad, hurt, betrayed. I feel like a fool. Oh, no, 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 no. We are not doing this today. Look. The only person that should feel like a fool is that son of a bitch who lied to you about having a whole fiance back home. This ain't on you. Okay? It's not on you. Yeah. I guess I need to get my shit together so my patient can get their shit together. <laughs> <laughs> together, girl. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. You know I got you, girl, always. Like I said, I gotta go get my. Like I gotta go to work. Okay. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Bring me back something mm -hmm. after you get off work. You gotta be hungry all the time. Hey, babe, uh, don't worry about breakfast this morning. I know you're still tired from last night. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, go pick up something before I go to work. Walking in here like you own the place. You don't live here anymore. Um, I paid for this house. And I put it in the divorce settlement. So that makes this my house. So make that the last time you walk in my house. Give me your key. Give me my key. I see you in here working out. Yeah. I gotta work out this frustration and negative energy somehow. Well, whatever the reason, you're looking good. Now, maybe if you was doing this when we were together, we'd still be married. No, we'd still be married if you hadn't been putting your little man in everything that <laughs> crossed your path. Emphasis on little. <laughs> you're so childish. And speaking of children, did you forget that last night you were supposed to be spending with your son? Uh, yeah, I got caught up with my, um... Excuses, excuses. I don't give a f You left my son sitting on that couch with disappointment in his eyes. No phone calls, no text messages, <laughs> just a bunch of excuses from a sorry son of a bitch. All right, Mom, I'm out. Okay, baby, you have a good day. What you doing here? You a whole 12 hours late, ain't you? My bad about last night, son, okay? Okay, I'm here now, I'm gonna make up for it. I'm gonna take you to school, and then we can- Nah, out. I'm riding with my homeboy. No, you're not. I'm gonna take you. Now, let's go. Man, get the f out of here. Oh, but who you think you talking to like that? Take your hands you off of him! Take your hands off of him, Frank! Let him go now! What's 
this. Penny for your thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> I needed that laugh. Well, I'm glad I could give you what you need. Now, what's up? You look like you have something weighing on you. I am not going to bore you with the details. You could never bore me, Amelia. Now, oh, come on. Lay it on me. <sighs> Cedric and I got into a really big fight last night. I finally told him how I felt about him not spending time with me and how I felt about him neglecting me. And clearly he did not take that well. Nope, he didn't. Cedric and I have never fought like that before. And I feel awful. No, 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 don't. <laughs> you shouldn't feel bad for telling your truth. If anything, he should feel bad for putting you through this. You are a queen, and you deserve to be treated as such. Well, I certainly don't feel like one. Well, that right there is a crime within itself. He should be breaking his neck doing whatever it takes to make you happy. Make you feel like royalty. I would. <laughs> well, well, well. What's going on here? Hey girl. Hmm. Layla Michelle, this is Jake. He owns the establishment. Jake, this is my friend Layla Michelle. We attend the same church. Hmm. Miss Layla, I watch your show every morning. I'm a big fan. Uh, it's Layla Michelle, one name, and I'm taken, and so is she. Right. Right. I'll get you a cup of coffee on the house. You do that. Jake, make it black, please. Uh, I'm on it. What's going on? Hmm. I should be asking you, Miss Married Woman. What do you mean? What I mean, you're sitting in here holding hands with someone that's not your husband, Amelia. We were not holding hands. He was comforting me. Comfort my ass. You know that man is trying to woo you and woo you right into his bed. <sighs> Please. And that's exactly what you're going to be moaning if you don't wake up. You know that man wants you, right? <laughs> and if I didn't know any better, I'll say you want him too. I can't believe you just- Don't you ever put your hands on him like that again, and I mean ever! The boy was talking reckless. Lost his damn mind cussing at me like that. Can you blame him? You treat him like He will respect me. You have to earn respect. I ain't got to earn from him. I'm the father. Then act like one. Okay. Great job, Teresa. You did it. You finally turned my son against me. No, Frank. You did a great job of that on your own. Why are you so angry and bitter, woman? Take a look in the mirror, Frank. You jealous. You damn right I am. I was with you when you had nothing. You wouldn't have that degree if it wasn't for me. You wouldn't have that job if it wasn't for me. And you wouldn't be with that bitch that you're with now if it wasn't for me. You crazy. No. I'm fed up. And I'm tired of your bitch ass. The only bitch in this room is you. Ma'am? 
Come here for my 11 o'clock appointment. <laughs> Your name? Are you serious? It's a heart attack. Keith Harris. Um, we don't have a Keith Harris for an 11 o'clock appointment, sir. Aaliyah, it's me, Keith. And you said that, and I said we don't have a Keith Harris for an 11 o'clock appointment. Now leave. Aaliyah, stop playing these ass games and tell Maya I'm here to see her. Oh, do I need to call the police? Oh, better yet. Let me get my purse, or I'll handle you myself. You know what? Fine. I'm out. Yeah, you fine. Now leave. Dr. Prescott, I took care of him for you. He shouldn't be bothering you anymore. check on you you were supposed to come to my event you know Girl, you make it I'm sorry I know you just got back in town I meant to text you but right after you hit me up Rico came home he's been working late we haven't seen each other lately so girl you know how that is so what's that on your wrist oh you know me clutch ran into the wall earlier right. today mm -hmm. Okay, um, let me ask you this. So why were you limping? Why are you limping? I've been going to the gym, you know, girl, I'm trying to get like you, you know. Mm. I've been doing squats and everything, so I'm so sore. Oh, darn. Cut the Okay. What the hell is going on? Just let it go, Jordan, okay? I said I was fine. Did Rico do that to you? Is he hitting you? Jordan? <sighs> Hell no, let's go. Let's go now! Look, I'm fine, okay? What do you mean, fine? You need to pack your and get the hell on. We gotta go. You're not staying here. Jordan, just mind your business, okay? Mind my business! Mind my business! He has no right putting his hands on you! You gotta get out! Stay out of it, Jordan! I got this! I'm not gonna stay out of here. I'm not gonna sit up here and let that son of a bitch beat you to death. I'm not gonna do it, you my girl. Listen, Jordan, mind your damn business, okay? I said I got it. Okay, got it. I'm call the police. No, Jordan, please. Please, get your hands off me, I'm gonna call the police. Listen, I promise if you call the police, I'm gonna tell everybody the real reason you left town. You wouldn't. Oh, I would. And I will. If you don't let me handle this on my own, my way. Maya. How the hell did you get in here? Please go away, Keith. Baby, we need to talk. I have nothing to say to you. I'm sorry. 
should be sorry. I deserve that. You deserve worse. I, th I thought we had something special. Baby, we do. We do. If, if you could just go and talk to me, I, I can explain everything. Keith, I, I, I can't. I, I don't. I can't do it. Why I miss you. No. I miss no. you. I miss you. No! I'm not gonna do this! But Maya... No! I'm not gonna sit around and be your side bitch. I care about you. You take that f care to your fiance and get the hell out of here! My Leave! I loved him so much. I mean, I loved him before he put this big ass rock on my finger. I'm sure you did, but I know him getting you that helped you love him even more. It did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy for you. Thanks, Jazz. Now we need to find you a good man so you can get something like this too. Nah, girl, I'm good. The only love affair I'm trying to have is with this music. You know what I mean? I'm not letting some man get in the way of that. And who says he has to get in the way? He can kind of help enhance it, you know, like push you towards making your dreams come true. You can have both the man and the music. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> well, regardless, I'm proud of you. <laughs> well, I'm glad someone is. Uh-oh. Something tells me Jordan is still bitching about everything. Per usual. We got into it last night and she left. Well, I say good riddance. You don't need that kind of negative energy around you or bringing you down, even if it is your own sister. Yeah. I don't get it. Why is she back anyway? Didn't you say she was so adamant about leaving and never coming back? She was. I'm not doing nothing important right now. Yeah, we can go to lunch. I always make time for you, sweetheart. Love you too. Okay. Teresa? Just go, Frank. But I, listen. I said, go.
take. Hey. What are you doing here? I'm here to make your dreams a reality, my queen. But... And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Bitch, time to get to work. Thank you so much, Aaliyah. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Bye now. You okay? Mm. Are you okay? <laughs> mm. I will be so good. Okay, you came by today? Oh, really? Yeah. He looks so good. He smelled so good. Oh my God, I just want him to take me right there, but I just kicked his ass out the office. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but I regret that decision. I should have just let him in the office, in the closet. Does it make me weak? No. It makes you human. It's pathetic. I mean, it's like a typical stereotype for women with a broken heart. No, it isn't. You have every right to process and cope with your heartbreak as you see fit. I mean, really. If you want to cry, cry. If you want to get a big bowl of ice cream, pick your favorite flavor and go for it. If you want to go to the gun range and pretend that it's a man's head or a penis and balls, then bang, bang, mother Bang, bang, bang. That's okay. I'm just saying. All I'm saying is, it's okay to have a bad day. It's okay to have a bad day and deal with it how you want to. Because you know the sun is shining again. And when it does, all you have to do is dust yourself off and do it all over again. And if that fails, there's always the next day. That is so true. That's true. Damn, bitch, you should have been my therapist. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't do that. But I can do this. You know, I'll always be here for you, Maya. Thank you, Jordan. You're welcome. <laughs> bang, bang. I just don't get it. 
I put my everything into this relationship. I gave him my all. I mean, I neglected my family and friends for this man. I mean, how did I not know? How could I be so stupid? I mean, there had to have been a sign that something was off, right? Maybe, maybe I just didn't see him. Hell, maybe I just didn't want to see him. But I think I'm just lost at what happened. I mean, one minute we're in love and the next minute I'm nursing a broken heart. And I don't know what to do. What should I do? Dr. Prescott. Dr. Prescott. Huh? Did you hear what I said? I asked you what you think I should do. Um, where were we again? Our community today is rallying around the nation heroes, our veterans. Today, we have the CEOs and businessmen and women out here giving them employment. Not just any job, but employment that the veterans can really enjoy yes, for themselves. Yes, mama. We are down here. We're planning to do a winter wedding. That's exactly what I was thinking, a winter wonderland thing. It's gonna be so beautiful. My dream wedding with the man of my dreams. Okay, we'll talk later. Love you too, bye. We are down here at the community. We are asking that you come out and enjoy this life-changing experience with us. We're down here until 6 p.m. tonight. I'm reporting live from downtown. I'm Layla Michelle, Channel 13 News. And we're clear. Get this away from me. Can you actually believe that they got me, Layla Michelle, down here doing this community? I'm a news anchor. I belong behind a desk. I worked my ass off to get that desk. And you think it's okay to bring Layla Michelle down here to do this mini old? Do you know college interns can do this job in their sleep? Oh, that's okay. Just wait till I get back to the office. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna give Rich a piece of my... Excuse me for a second. Jordan. Hi, Layla. It's Layla Michelle. Right. One name. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised to see you over here in this part of town slumming it. <laughs> they brought me in to do a live spot today on all the things that were happening in the community. I thought reporters do live spots. Aren't you an anchor? Shouldn't you be behind the desk pretending that you know everything, telling everybody what they should do and how they should do it? <laughs> Oh, Jordan, your ignorance is showing. It's news anchors like me that come down here and bring awareness to things that's happening in our community for people like you to show up. Oh, Layla, your oversized ego is showing and baby, I ain't even pretty. <laughs> you would know, wouldn't you? What the hell do you want? Well, I came to put you on notice. See, I don't give a damn about whatever you and Maurice had in the past. Mm -hmm. He's my man now. And I'm gonna need you to stay away from him. <laughs> Look at you. Your insecurity is showing all the way through. <laughs> all right, sweetie. I see you. But if you don't have anything else to say to me, I got some business to attend to. Whatever. Oh, and Layla? Maurice and I were way more than boyfriend and girlfriend. Way more. What the hell did you just say to me? I don't owe you anything else. You go ask him. <laughs> He's your man. Layla. It's Layla Michelle. One word. Oh, 
I am so glad I am off work today because if I had to sit next to that girl and listen to her talk about her perfect life with her perfect kids and her perfect husband and that perfect dog, I was going to punch her in her perfect face. <sighs> Hello? Am I talking to myself? Are you okay? I have to be honest with you about something. What? I'm feeling a certain type of way about the other night. About what? The way you were acting. The way you were throwing jabs at me with Maya and Jordan. We were just playing, Amelia. No. There's a difference between cracking jokes and being mean. And quite frankly, my dear, you were being a little bullyish. I'm sorry, Amelia. Thank you. It's just, you act different when Jordan is around. It's like you're trying to impress or something. It's like she's Regina George and you're so caught up trying to make Fetch happen. Who's Lindsay Lohan in the girl who tries to predict the weather with her breath? I'm sorry. I guess you're right. I never really thought about it. I mean, Jordan and I did go to high school together and I guess deep down inside, I've always tried to impress her a little. I'm sorry and thank you for bringing it to my attention. And I won't let that happen again. Thank you. You will always be my girl <laughs> and we'll always be connected. Why? Because we both share sh husbands. <laughs> You're a mess. Speaking of, how are things with you and your husband? Well, we got into it the night of Jordan's homecoming. And we really haven't talked since. Oh. But that's not the worst part of it. What could be worse than fighting with your man? having fantasies about another man. Ooh, girl, spill the tea, who? Jake. Oh, girl, everybody fantasizes about him. He is fine. I'm married. Okay, girl, so what? You didn't act on it, you're okay? Me on the other hand, what did you do? Slept with Frank. But you may want to think about adding some more bass to it and then add some violins to kind of versify it. Then you might just have a little something. Hi. What's up, Jazz? Jazz and Dixon. This. I know who this is. Trey Hits. The man always responsible for making hits. And my next goal is to make sure that you have one. <laughs> well, I'm pleased to meet you. Oh, the pleasure is all mine, Miss Jaslyn. <laughs> hey, uh, good work, you know? <laughs> yes, let's. Let's do it. And then the bitch had the nerve to come up to me talking about stay away from her man. Hmm. Girl, bye. Why is she so pressed? <laughs> Clearly, she can't keep me off her mind. Sound like he just keep talking about you and she tired of hearing about it. But I'm just saying, that's definitely not my problem. Well, you know what? Let's move on to a little bit more pleasant note, please. How is Dawn?
Joy. Joy. What? Yeah. What? I was asking you how dog, but where you was at? She's fine. You know, man problems. Mm, like we all have man problems. Speaking of, Keith called me earlier today. <laughs> you still can't get the yeah, huh? Apparently not. Mm. I just ignored the call. Girl, I had a patient. Oh, okay. So, let's just say you didn't have a patient. Would you have ignored the call? Um, do you want to talk to him? Hey, what's up, babe? Hey. I saw you on the TV this morning. Oh, you did? Ain't that noon in the field. Hmm. Baby was beautiful both times. Wow. Oh. Come here. What's up? What's wrong? I ran into your little friend today. Cool. Oh, don't play down with me. And she had a whole lot of things to say wow. about your past relationship. Specifically, that you guys were way more than boyfriend and girlfriend. Like. It's Layla Michelle. One word. And what is the hell? What does she say that you guys are more than boyfriend and girlfriend? Huh? Answer me, Maurice. Look, all right. You was engaged. Engaged? Maurice, you don't think that's some shit? I needed to know? I just asked you about that bitch the other night and what did you say? You didn't think to tell me that you were once engaged to her? Well, hell. I mean, I think at this point it don't even matter. Are you still in love with her? What? Are you still in love with her, Maurice? What in the hell is all this coming from? Answer me. No. All right? No, I am not in love with her. I'm in love with you, Layla Michelle. Or at least the part of you that's sensible mm -hmm. and not always questioning what we have. Do you plan on marrying me, Maurice? I mean, do you plan on proposing to me? Huh? Because let me tell you something, okay? I am a wife. I am nobody's forever girlfriend. Get that in your head. Well, maybe if you start acting like a wife hmm. and not a little girlfriend, then I will propose to you one day. Oh, so is that what Jordan did? Huh? Is that all she had to do to get the ring on her finger? Oh, goodness. Hmm? <laughs> you know what? I'm going for a run. Yeah, you do that. What, Frank? No. No. Look, we can't keep doing this. I told you the last time was the last time. Look, somebody's at my door. I gotta go. Teresa. Okay. Okay. Okay, Cedric. I'll just see you later on tonight at home. Yeah. Bye. You know I love you? I don't even think my husband can get an I like you at this point. <laughs> oh, goodness. I shouldn't have said that. It's cool. You can say anything in front of me. I'm your friend. And that's what friends are for. To laugh with, to cry with, to vent to, to love. Well, I appreciate that. So, Cedric says he has another late night at the church. Um, 
budget meeting with the trustees. You know, I just, I just wish he was as passionate about and as dedicated to this marriage as he is about becoming the next pastor of the church. Sounds like he has priorities out of whack. Tell me something I don't know. Okay. You deserve so much better. You deserve a man who is gonna worship the ground that you walk on. You deserve a man who's gonna shower you with his love and his affections. You deserve to be treated like the Nubian goddess that you are. Well, is that something that a friend does as well? Pay such beautiful and charming compliments to a married woman? Well, when he sees that that married woman isn't being treated like the queen that she is, then absolutely. Mm, are you about to order something or y'all just gonna make googly eyes at each other for the rest of the day? Sorry. I, I will just bring you your regular. Okay. Girl, why are you tripping? You already know the deal. No. <laughs> Same deal she's getting. like anything that's happening in music right now. Exactly, and that's what we want. We want to create the trend, not follow it. You feel me? Absolutely. I'm gonna make you a star. Are you ready? Born ready. Good. Ready and willing to do whatever it takes. And that's exactly what I like to hear. We gotta stop running into each other. What the hell are you doing? I thought I was coming to say hello. No, what the hell are you doing telling Layla Michelle about me and you? What you trying to do? Well, your girl ran up on me, so I had to let her know what's up. Really? By teasing her? Telling her that we was more than boyfriend and girlfriend? Well, it's the truth. It don't matter. Because we over. Well, your girl doesn't think that we're over. Otherwise, she wouldn't have come up on me with all her insecurity. Well, she wouldn't have to do that, Jordan, if you quit playing all these games. Look, Maurice, I just... What? You what? Left me at the altar? Look, you was the one that ended things. You was the one that left me with a broken heart? It took me some time to get over you. But I got over you. I am over you. Well, if you're so over me, then why are you still wearing the bracelet that I got you? You wore it the day I got back in town and you're wearing it now. That doesn't seem like something that someone over me would do. Look, whatever brought you to town, leave me out of it. Maurice. Maurice.
Maya? Just say something, Maya. Baby, say something. Keith, I... Just say something. Never mind. Hey, who you talking to, baby? Oh, <clears throat> just a business associate. Nothing present. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Marie Dixon, will you marry me? Yes, I'll marry you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I shouldn't have let Jordan get in my head and come between us like that. So I'm sorry. Sorry too, babe. I should have made you feel more secure you know, about how I feel about you. About us. But instead, I ridiculed you. You did, <laughs> but I love you anyway. I love you too, Lady Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> Sure, it'll be cool though. Yeah, I'll hit you later. Alright. Mom! Your mom, can I. Taylor! What's up, son? So you can't spend time with me, but you got time with mom. Taylor, wait! Forget it, mom. I see how it is. Who the f are you talking to? Nobody. I was just gonna answer. No, I know what you're doing. You was cheating on me. That's what it is. Giving that to any and everybody, huh? No, no. I promise I wasn't. I guess I gotta show you who you really belong to. Hey, Dawn. It's Maya. I'm calling to check on you because I haven't heard from you in a while. Now, Jordan told us that you was having some men problems, so what you need to do is get on down here to this coffee shop so we can drown our sorrows in this caffeine like we always do. All right, well, call me when you hear get this message, girl. Bye. Girl.
I wish that caffeine could solve my problems at home. Yeah, me too. But I need something a little bit more than some caffeine to yeah. solve these problems. Amen to that. <laughs> Look at you, oh church girl, trying to walk on the wild side. Oh, don't do that, Maya. I'm just saying, girl, you know, you usually be just... Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, girl. Mm. Hey, ladies. Oh, hey, hey, girl. Hey. Hey. <laughs> what do mm. I miss? None much. Ooh, girl, is that... Um, yep. Um, why are you wearing your engagement ring? Mm. Because it's my ring and I can wear it when and how I want to wear it. Ooh, plus, yes, ma'am. It's too beautiful to stay in the box, you know? Yes, that thing is beautiful, girl. Can I get something for you, ma'am? Yeah, as a matter of fact, can I get a coffee, two creamers, and a sugar? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Excuse me. Would you please ask Jake to come out here for a second? I have something that I need to talk to him about. Jake's not here. Oh. Do you know where he went? No, he said to go take care of something for a friend. Oh, okay. Thank you. Jake. Mm -hmm. Looks like Virgin Mary done turned into Mary Magdalene. I'm just saying, I didn't say it. I didn't say it at all. <laughs> but I'm just saying. Why did that go? Said. Hey, what's up, Jake? I don't know, man. You tell me. Excuse me? Look, man. I know that you love God and your calling, but you need to take a step back from the church and put a little bit more time and attention to your wife. What? Man, who the hell do you think you are? Don't you ever try to give me advice on my wife. Well, maybe if you did what you were supposed to, I wouldn't have to. You look, we in church right now. I promise you the hands of God won't save you. Maybe you should take that pent up aggression and redirect it towards your wife. I think she'd be a lot more satisfied than she is right now. Beautiful. <laughs> Just beautiful. You nailed it. Thanks. Where's Chris? Oh, he had to go take care of emergency, but I told him that we can continue to work. I mean, if that's good with you. Yeah, sure. Of course. <laughs> you want some? No, thanks. Are you sure? I pass. All right, then. Suit yourself. I guess we'll continue to work there. Straddling the fence. <laughs> I um didn't know that you knew her. <laughs> well, this her has a name, and this her will beat your ass today, oh, wait, bitch. Wait, really? Oh, wait, ladies, today. ladies, ladies. Today we are not gonna do this in here. Fold your ass right. Up. We're in public. Space and time. No, baby. What about your image? No, I'd rather think about punching this bitch in her face. I told you a joke. <laughs> Oh, really? Layla. And you the only one laughing and ain't funny. Layla. Layla Michelle. Please. Please. I see you're not wearing your bracelet, Maurice. Well, um, I decided to take it off. Hmm. How convenient. How does this trick Maurice know about your bracelet? This trick? knows about his bracelet because this trick bought it for him. Yeah, that's right. I bought it for him the day before he bought me this. 
Yes, ma'am. Take a good look at it. This is what your man gave me when he asked me to marry him. Isn't this your grandmother's ring, Maurice? Isn't that why you gave it to me, Maurice? <laughs> a special ring for a special girl. Yeah. Yeah, look. Right oh. at it. Yeah, get the hell up out of here, bougie bitch. Yeah. Look. Look. Why did you do that? Simple. Because I can. Good coffee. So babe, I was talking to my mom yesterday and I think it would be perfect if we had a winter wonderland theme wedding. I mean, it's perfect. Your birthday is the 1st of December. My birthday is after Christmas. So it's destined. We have our wedding anniversary in between our birthdays. I can't wait to become Miss Keith Harris. And I know most girls are all about wanting to keep their independence and not take on their husband's last name, but I cannot wait to take on your last name and I can't wait to marry you, baby. Maybe we could just go ahead and get married now and we could do the whole big wedding at another time. Chloe, Chloe, another time. Maybe we should hold off on the wedding for a while. What? I'm just saying, Chloe, it's just, I, I just have a lot to deal with at work. I got a lot of projects that I do. And I don't need the added pressure of trying to plan for a big wedding. Keith, you don't have to do anything. All you have to do is show up. I'll take care of everything. Chloe, it's just, it, it's just, I just want, I just want us to not rush into things, you know? I, I want to make sure that this is the right thing at the right time for the both of us. I know this is the right thing for the both of us. I want to be your wife and I want to marry you. Do you not want to marry me? It's not that, Chloe. It's just... <clears throat> I need some fresh air. Air? Key! Key! <sighs> what the hell are you doing? Just trying to have a little fun, that's all. No thanks. Oh, don't act like that. You know what they say about all work and no play, right? Yeah, they also say crack kills, but you don't seem to be listening. Whatever. Come on, Ma, you know you feeling me. I said no, Trey. I mean, come on. Dang, Ma, chill. Relax. I said no. Oh, okay. I see what time it is. Well, it looks like we have a whole new situation now. So, if you're gonna use my music, then you're gonna have to cough up some cash. $40,000 per B. $40,000? I can't afford that. That's not my problem. See, I know my worth. I've been doing this for a long time. You said you weren't gonna charge me. You know, that was before you started tripping. See, I only do favors for friends. And you made it very clear that we're not friends. So from here on out, it's strictly business. And this is how I do business. If you want to use my music, you're going to have to pay me my money. This is... No, this is business, baby girl. Oh, my bad. Excuse me. Miss Dixon. <laughs> Yo, this is me. I got a new beat I want you to hear. I think it'll be perfect for your voice. You interested? I am so sorry, Taylor. No need to apologize, Ma. I mean, if you need to get your rocks off, then. It's not even like that, Taylor. No? Then what is it like? Because to me, it looks like he was allowing that to use you whenever and however he likes. Meanwhile, he has a whole girlfriend, wife, baby mama, 
or whatever the hell you want to call her, to go home to. You're better than this, Ma. You deserve better. Damn shame I'm getting advice from my teenager. Out of the mouths of babes, right? <laughs> <laughs> I love you, baby. I love you too, Ma. I'm going to give me something to eat. Okay, baby, look, uh, I'm on my way home now. All right, bye. Don't you think you should be going to try to talk to your son? Okay, well, I gotta go. Um, this time I'll talk to him sometime tomorrow. Fine. Um, see you later. Instead of trying to do me, you need to be trying to do right by your son. Bye, Frank. Jake, I am so sorry for bothering you. I know you're closed, mm -hmm. but... It's cool. What's going on? Well, it looks like my front tire is flat, and I don't have a spare. Mm -hmm. And to add insult to injury, my phone has died, and I don't have my charger. So may I please use your phone to call a tow truck? <laughs> it's cool. I'll do you one better. I actually can change it for you. I have a spare in my car. Jake, you don't have to do that. I know I don't have to, <laughs> but I want to. Baby, baby, listen. Look, we can talk about it. See, you know what, Marius? We don't have, we don't have absolutely nothing else to talk about. Come on, Layla. For the last time, my name is Layla Michelle. Layla Michelle. One word, and you don't get to shorten my name because my parents gave me that name to convince you. Oh, but that's what you do, right? You do things that's a convenience for you, right? Like taking off your bracelet that your ex-fiance gave to you, Maurice. Listen. No, 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 Listen. no. No, no. I've been listening to you for way too long. And I'm not doing it no more, because you know why? You told me that your sister gave you that bracelet. Yes, you did. Oh, you know what else you told me? You told me that you were gonna propose to me with your grandmother's ring, huh? What were you gonna do, Maurice? I'm soaking. Please tell me, what were you gonna do? Were you gonna go to the store, buy another ring and tell me it was from your grandmother, huh? No, 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 no. See, <laughs> I know what you were gonna do. You were gonna go to Jordan and get the ring back and give me a ring that another bitch was wearing, no, Maurice. No, yes, you no. were. Layla Michelle, please. Please. You know what, Maurice? I am so done with your ass and I am so tired and I'm out. No, baby. Come on. Baby, baby, listen. Baby, baby, listen, listen. Layla. Don't And I hate your black ass right now. And you know what else? And f this relationship. Baby. Out of my way. Baby. Layla. You. Layla Michelle. Oh, now you get the name right.
you are good to go. Thank you, Jake. No problem. <laughs> I don't know how I can ever repay you. <laughs> Just continue being the wonderful woman you already are. And don't allow anyone to lessen your value. Jake. Hey. You deserve the finest things in life. You deserve a man who is going to value you and love you. You deserve someone like me. I gotta go. I'm gonna let you in this house. What you want? Look, I just came to apologize. The way I behaved earlier was way out of line. I'm sorry. It's a little too late for that now, ain't it? Is Layla here? I want to apologize to her as well. She gone. Oh, really? Sorry to hear that. No, you not. I don't know how you get too about what happened. Like for once in your life, be real with me, all right? What the f do you want, Jordan? You. I want you. No, you don't. You had that choice when you left me at the altar, looking stupid in front of my family and friends. <sighs> well, you know it's a good thing. <sighs> You never moved. I mean, it would have been really awkward if I would have walked up in here and it was a total stranger's house instead of you coming to the door. You don't get it, do you? You broke my heart, Jordan. You left me here by myself. We were supposed to be together. Now you show back up? After blue? You know how long it took me to get my life back together after you left me? Huh? Now you come back and my whole life turned into shambles. That fast, Jordan. What are you trying to do to me? Why are you trying to ruin my life? I'm not trying to ruin your life. I'm not trying to ruin your life. Then what you trying to do? If anything, I'm trying to rectify it. I'm trying to rectify my mistake. I'm trying to rectify the biggest regret of my life. I miss you. I want you. I miss you. I want you. I know you need me too. Changing my perspectives. Seeing you in a Tell me what we're gonna do for dinner because you made me change my clothes before we went to the coffee house today. So please, I'm coming. Please call me back as soon as possible. Thank you. Oh, please. I can't. Maya. I know you don't want to see me, but I just had to come and talk to you, baby. Fine. Speak. Look. I knew what I did was wrong. It was more than wrong. It was f***ed up. You lied. I, I, I know. I know. And I'll spend the rest of my life 
apologizing to you and, and, and making it up to you if you let me. What? My, I made a big mistake by asking Chloe to marry me. I don't want to marry her. The woman that I want, the woman that I want to make Mrs. Keith Harris is you. Keith. I, I want to marry you. Keith. I, I, I love you, Maya. I love you. And if you look deep within your heart, deep within yourself, you know that you love me too. You never told me you loved me before. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> But I'm saying it now, and I'll say it as many times as you need for you to realize that you and I, we belong together, baby. I, Keith Harris, love you, Maya Prescott. me more and I deserve better and I deserve better than you but but Maya I, Keith, for good this time Welcome home, baby. Cedric, what are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago. Appreciating my wonderful wife and trying to be the husband that she deserves. Cedric. Uh -huh. I know. I know it's going to take a lot more than just these rose petals and the hot bubble bath I have waiting for you right now. To make up for my behavior, lady, baby, but I promise I'm going to do a whole lot better for you, for us, because you deserve it. And I love you. I love you too. Never met a fat boy quite this fly since Chris 
Wallace told us he was ready to die Self-made, yeah, a real stand-up guy I play the game my way, got a Sinatra vibe My resume is strong and I tell no lies And I ain't gotta prove it on Instagram going live Born to be a legend, it's royalty in my DNA Had to take the L so the trophy, I'll appreciate Merit to the game, this is on a speed date Game for the culture, they just feeding off the wave Cause it's different when you sacrificing for this we gon' get this money, but it's more than a lick Standing over here, you gon' need more than a drip We took a lot of pain before we had champagne and sip Starting five under one, they underestimate, I overcome It's how we moving where I'm from We play the cards and defeat the odds We die trying and we get it done We used to work that block like my tumbo The spot got hot, I switched the hustle up pronto Went legit never since, never looked back Cause I understood the real true meaning of the trap Still winning, still betting like King Griffin I speak the truth so the real gon' f*** with me Humble and focused, I always keep that same energy I'm the goal is the only that I need that Oprah Winfrey Everybody in my circle on the same